the themes I like to talk about in my work have to do with human experience, with science, spirituality, quantum physics, the fears, dreams, psychology, cycles, life and death, mortality, immortality, the possibility of parallel dimensions, science fiction, to the real Texas, so I'm part, part Mexican, part American, and I came to live in Mexico City when I was 16, so I've been living here for many years. I love Mexico City, and now I also love my border town, so I studied photography and film, and for many years I, I created a production company which is named Floto, which means float. I have a beautiful team I've been working with for many years now. In production, we have Liliana Limon. In production and art production, I have Alejandra Lopez. In video editing and art design, Oscar Vargas. In art production, I have Diego Licona. Makeup artist and costume design, there's Karina Preciado and Priscilla Slim. My good friend, Guillermo Llamas, who edited my music videos for many years. And we also co-directed some videos for Lionel Garcia. The art director that I worked with for many years is Lucy Barba. And my other good friend that I worked with for many years in the art direction department is Alejandra Larcón. She's an awesome artist and watercolor master. So we did many music videos and portraits, a bit of publicity, commercial work. And always at the same time, I've been working on my personal art. So last year, I decided to retire from commercial work, so I'm 100% doing just my, my personal work now. And the last installation I made is called New News, and it's about this over, overload of information that we have, and how fast we live, and how, how it's easy to, to, to live in this virtual world and not live in the present and enjoy the present. The idea started last October, um, and I was thinking about uh, new news and everything, the new, the new science news we hear, medical news, um, art, art news, new movies, new music, new spirituality, and how we are bombarded with all this um, information. Uh, every single day, every minute, you can have new information about every topic you can think about. Basically, you can find it on on the internet. And so, um, with this thing in mind, I created uh, a boutique, an information boutique called New News, and we have um, different products. Some of them are real, some of them are fake. Well, I studied photography and film in Mexico City and in San Antonio, Texas. And I started making photography, um, constructive photography. So I started building sets in my, in my, first in my home and then in my studio. And from there I started developing into doing videos. And when, when we got the Canon, the first 5D, the 7D, one of those, in which you could do the photo and then make a video with the same setting, so it became a lot easier for me to, to manage. And I started doing music videos for a lot of very important artists in Mexico, in the Mexican scene. And from there I jumped, I, I, I jumped to working commercially, doing video, music videos and portraits of, of artists, musicians, and at the same time, I would do my personal work, which was photography and film. I took seven different products um, that have to, have to do with science and spirituality, 
And like for example, we have this zip. It's medication for the intentional forgetting. And then we have this other poster here, for example, we pet your favorite friend again. Clone your pet, bring a sample of his hair and we'll do the rest. So I found out that in China you can actually clone your pet, your dead pet. And then let's do another one. This is um, immortality gene. It's going to be available soon. There's, uh, I read about this mm -hmm. scientists that are working on immortality. With these posters, which are seven, we actually we also did um, commercials for the TV. So we have here in this TV installation, all TVs. Here are some news, latest news that we've been living since the pandemic. Also, we have the TV commercials for these products that I created. In, it has phrases that I made for for the boutique. So we have we have T-shirts, we have beanies, we have sweatshirts and stress balls. And I I did a lot of storyboards in during my my work for publicity and, and commercial work, and so I started doing uh, practicing drawing and painting with watercolor and then acrylic. And naturally, my work from my photography, which is constructed in my video, when 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 I was asked to to show in a gallery, they started asking for my sets for my installations. So now it has now I do photography, photography, video, installation, and performance because my installations always have a character has a character in it. So. Now I do performance and um, lately I've been painting more so I've been um, I've been doing acrylic. When the virus COVID-19 started, we had to stop the, the process the, of the creation of this boutique for inauguration. We had to change the opening and we didn't know when it was going to be. So I started doing other um, works for for the boutique. So we have. I started painting in my studio. So you can see some paintings over there, and then you can see, for example, this painting. Art has always evolved and and has grown with with each generation. And what I've seen lately with contemporary art is that artists are more it's the the, the gap between between it being so so close so boxed into one genre or one kind of doing 
one um, style is that we have we have the information in our in our cell phones in our iPads about what's happening in, what's happening in all the world and and so the, the evolution is faster. I did photography. I did this live performance with this character, which is my friend, my very good friend Karina Preciado, whom I've been working for for many years, and she's a great makeup artist and she, she does all these characters and she can do zombie, you know, she can do whatever you, anything that has freaky, dark, she loves and I do also, so. So she was also doing a quarantine and we decided to make this, this video together. And from there I printed some photos. We are influenced globally, so I think that's the difference between, between the past that it happens in the music also, in, or in the cinema, that, that it used to be that it's horror film, or it's a romantic film, or it's an um, action film. Now, the genres are blended, so you, you don't just have one, one genre in a film, you have many. So, so now it's hard to describe one painting, or one, one, one style, or one genre in, in an artist. Now it's all mixed together. So I think that eventually it will evolve, it will evolve for it to being again more, more square, but right now I think it's free. I did these light, I don't know how you call them, these light phrases. I create reality, control your thoughts, and then we have echo anxiety over here, which we will show you later. My inspiration, well I get inspired by by what I see, what I listen to, by music, by paintings, by photography, films. Um, I get inspired when I travel a lot by the people, by the cultures, um, food. Just what, what I see in, in everyday life, I get inspired and well, many artists which I admire, like um, Dan Arbus or uh, David Lynch, Cronenberg, Lars von Trier, Miranda July, uh, Dana Schultz, Basquiat, many, there's many, many artists that, that I admire and, and inspire me also. I did this photo with my iPhone, which was part of the performance. So, so this, is, this is actually cool because it's, it's a photo made with an iPhone. And it has the texture, you know, the pixels, which is pretty cool. Well, I guess that we we are learning to adapt to a new reality. We don't know how much time it's going to last, but definitely, I think it's giving it's opening windows um, for for us to do more things in a virtual way, so we can reach even more people and, and museums and galleries and artists. Musicians, everybody is, is working a different way and looking for new ways to work being inside your house. And I think it's interesting because we're going to see new ways of working and new ways of making art. And, and more, than, more than being um, sad about it, I'm very excited about the, the, the change and the opportunity to do something new. This girl, she goes outside with all these fears and new doubts and everything that's happening. And also with it, it, it was when we, as a, a global society, were in starting to, to be in this new process of, of thinking and of feeling of this new thing that we were living. So I did, um, I did this missile. It's a ceramic. And I, put, I looked at Instagram, I looked for hashtags that had to do with COVID-19 and I wrote on the missile album and then this, this character which goes to the street in Mexico City she finds this standing in the street with all of these hashtags hashtag surveillance, hashtag introvert, hashtag lockdown My, my process for working is that first I get an idea, a concept, and then I, I launch into that idea, I start reading about that theme and looking for it in the net or 
uh, listening to music to ha that has to do with that, or looking at a film that has to do with the, the theme that I'm, that I'm looking. So I get, I have all this information, and then and then colors begin to come. So I start working with the color palette, and it's very important to me the colors and and the textures that I'm going to use. So I I always try in when I'm doing a new series to do something different of what I did before. It's just, I don't know, this is my nature, I guess, um, I like change, I, I like to evolve. So, with whatever I learned with the, with the last one, I try, I try, I made something different. For example, if I'm using, I, I have two series or three that I use this fabric, this, uh, a cloud texture, and then I stopped using it forever and I started using then something new. I use plastic, so everything was plastic, all of my set was plastic. I always make a set. And so I have to decide what what the objects are going to be made of, what color they're going to be, what what the color of the of the floor of the of the wall, and then the costumes. How they're dressing, I have to decide with my makeup artist, a very good friend, Karina Preciado, which which period uh, the character is in, um, what she's thinking, what she's feeling, and so that also helps me with the colors and what I want to portray. So in all in all, when I do a, a, a photo and video, there's a lot of pre-production work um, to do, and when it's finally, when the set is finally finished, then I decide what type of lighting I'm going to use, and when I have the first image made, in which I'm happy with, then I do the rest of the series. So it's it's many many days work, and sometimes months. Mm, for a whole series to be done. And then I did this photo. Okay. Okay. It's called Fake Bat. So I did it in my studio. And we actually had to go upside down with this training thing for your bag. And so I did this one also. Fake Bat. <coughs> fake Bat. Without, you know. Because we didn't know, we still don't know if the virus was um, caused by an animal, by a bat, or a pangolin, whatever, so I did that. And um, over here we have, we have videos that have to do with climate change, 2015, it's a series I did four years ago. And we, we're going to use it here because you know the, the news about climate change is all the time changing and we have new technology and then we have governments that don't want to use this new technology so it's all of these contradiction of energies the ones that want to create and the ones that want to destroy which is a lot of what this is about <laughs> to learn to 
to decelerate our minds and and to become uh, more in the present, to be more in the present. And so for this I have propaganda, which is free, like meditation. And this is actually, I mean, you can meditate, just you don't need technology, but there's also technology if you need it to meditate. And then dance it all out. This is totally free. You just dance and pheromones and all these endorphins come uh, to your body and to your mind and it helps to relax and to feel better, more happy. Well, all of these phrases, just little reminders of of what we can do in our every everyday life to to decelerate our minds and to be more become more peaceful people and more happy people. So I think um, this is it. Thank you. See you soon.